December 19th, 2003. God the Father. My children, as your father, I retain a certain amount of authority over you. It is good when you acknowledge this and bow before me. I do not want souls to bow before me because they have been forced. I prefer my children to serve me from motives of love and loyalty. Loyalty to God is something that has fallen by the wayside in your world. I gaze upon my creatures looking for faces that look up to me in love, and I find so few in this time. Many of you have been caught up in the noise of your current world. I do not speak of the natural noises of wind through trees, water from streams, lakes and oceans, and the noises of animals as they serve their God in all their busyness. I speak of the artificial noise that you surround yourself with in an effort to feel safe. Sit in silence, please. Remove this clamor from your life. I say this with all authority and understanding of the needs of the creatures I have created. Your spirits suffocate under the attack of all this noise. In silence comes peace, the peace within which I would speak to you. Dearest little ones, destined for heaven, you will not know how to conduct yourselves in the next world with its beautiful quiet. There will be sounds in heaven, but beautiful, organized sounds destined to bring joy to the spirits of my little ones. How you will weep for joy at the sound of the angels as they combine their voices to praise me and entertain the saints. And you will be saints, dear ones, if you listen to my voice within you. There are also the beautiful sounds of my creation. Children, if there is a sound that gives you joy, you will experience it in heaven in the most profound way that you can imagine. Indeed, you cannot imagine it, but you can dream about it, and every so often I will give you a sample of heavenly sound in your life. Watch for these little experiences, children. You will find them on your earth. Because of your limited vision, which is my will for you at this time, you cannot experience heaven in its fullness. But your God often visits you with a portion of your inheritance. When you experience these things, look to me in joy, and truly you will find me looking back at you in all love and tenderness. Thank me for these gifts. They are intended to encourage you. Children, close your eyes for a moment. Open them. That is how quickly it will seem to you that you and I will meet. Your life is but a blink in time compared to eternity. Will you not give me the smallest bit of credit? Look up to me now and tell me you love me. Perhaps you are uncomfortable because you do not feel you know me. I want you to remember that I know you. I have always known you because I created you. I chose to send you to earth now. I had reasons for my choice of your birth time and those reasons still exist. So serve, little one, serve. I will reveal myself to you if you invite me. Tell me you would like to know me better. I will not refuse such a request. 
you will become my intimate friend if you make such a prayer to me with your heart. Even if you have the smallest interest in knowing me, I will come to you. I love you. I see your soul in all its future beauty. You cannot imagine what you are capable of doing for the heavenly kingdom if you will allow me to work through you. In this time of peace, allow me to put my love in your soul. You will not regret coming to know me. Such a thing is not possible. You will only thank me for coming to you. So do not delay, little child. Come to your father, who wants only your happiness and welfare. <laughs>